Hi guys, welcome to Lovely Twin 22. Vanessa here speaking and today we have another pick a card reading and this is the weekly what's going on with them commencing November 18 up to November 24, 2019. Each pass was arranged by Archangel Gabriel and Saint Gabriel said it's an intense week for your partner in crime, the angels say, or your person, your counterpart that you are, you know, worried about. It's because, especially for the masculines, okay, the emotions are very intense for them since they don't tap into their emotions, um, that much that's why some of them especially if they can't handle emotions very well it's a very overwhelming for them and it's a very depressing week for them the angels say and they told me that you must relax divine feminines because you just need to you know continue on doing your job your light work job and so forth because the angels say within this week what matters is your career first okay because when it comes to emotions it's highly intense <laughs> the intensity is great the angels say and within this week they just ask me to you know release the weekly what's going on because that is most important okay and anyway when it comes to career and you know in your own love life there is a pose for love life because of your person and that is why you know they ask me to release this okay and anyway when it comes to your career just relax okay the, take it easy because the energy is very strong don't get involved in war um and don't lose focus with your career that's all that they can say when it comes to career but in relationships guys okay take it easy as well try to understand your person because currently right now some of them are encountering a heartache with your life some of them are you know they are experiencing a downfall of their ego and most of them the angels say especially for cheaters okay um they will end up crying within this week okay because they gonna pay their debt which is their karma and since they will have this karma either this week or near future the angels say it will push on to them towards what is destiny or the divine calling for them according to the angels because they have been so far away from god and that's why some of them are you know ego based not really you know focusing on the feelings of others they just keep on breaking other people's heart and since they have been um abusing others the heavens sent them their downfall so they may change okay so if ever you're dealing with a cheater let them be okay let god do the trick and you don't have to you know make a revenge and so forth because the angels say someday they will get it okay and anyway um it's now time to relax and focus on your career and right now you need to know about your person because in some cases especially if you feel that intense connection you will question why you know you feel sad all of a sudden or you may question why you you're crying as well well okay it's not time for you to know <laughs> why is it okay especially if you can sense also your person all right um is there anything else they said relax <laughs> they keep on repeating and enjoy your life try to meditate even more and if you're being asked on to purge the pain then purge the pain and if it's overwhelming for you the emotions Take time to breathe, take time to relax, take time to do what makes you happy so that this intense energy will not eat you alive, <laughs> okay? Um, is there anything else? 
They said that's it. So anyway, guys, we have four pals here. Pile one is the three of pentacles. Pile two, strength. Pile four is four of wands. I'm sorry, pile three is the four of wands. Pile four is the knight of pentacles. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> okay. Anyway, just concentrate on each pulse, meditate, pray first before choosing so that, you know, they may direct you to the one that is about your person. And if no pile is, you know, calling on to you, don't force it, especially for the one that I just released, which is... Um, is where is this connection heading? Now, take note, guys, that is only for couples who are in separation. Okay, those that are not sure where their connection is heading. Okay, so anyway, for this one, some piles has two groups, they say. It doesn't mean that, you know, it's only all for you. Remember, just take what resonates because in some cases, we tackle in two energies or two different scenarios in one pile. Now, the angels say, relax. <laughs> they keep on saying to you and pray for your person, especially if you got the pile that, you know, their your person has a downfall of their ego because they really need strength and energy so that they can be able to move forward in their life or in their task. And also, um, most of them feel regretful of whatever they did Especially if they broke your heart, they broke your feelings because the heaven is trying to wake them up, okay, so that they may be able to reconcile back to you. Now, is there anything else, angels? Um, they said that's it. So anyway, guys, just post a video. If you're not yet ready, I'll proceed now with pile number one. Hi guys, for those who chose pile number one, which is the three of pentacles, here is your reading. Alright, so let's see what's going on with your person, pile number one. So you got this as your overall theme. So I will just place it based on what the angels asked me to do. So anyway, I'll show to you the cards later on when i will explain things okay and anyway let's see about their energy with regards to this connection angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know how does a person of pile number one feel about them and how do they see about their situation and connection together I feel like they are very regretful of hurting you in the past and I feel like you're somebody who is afraid of others as well because I feel like this person cheated on you and you don't trust you have a hard time to trust people like because of them you had trust issues that's also what I get and if ever you were in another connection I feel like you are not that um, trusting to your person. You don't trust that person that much. Um, so we'll see. You're someone who's loyal, but this person betrayed you. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know what's going on with the person of pile number one commencing november 18 up to november 24 2019 this person realized um about you about what they did when you went away you guys broke up and i feel like they are now realizing the pain or feeling the pain in their heart and my head hurts while I'm shuffling the card. So it means that your person has been thinking a lot constantly about you and your connection. So this is the, um, why did I place it here? <laughs> that is not even the overall energy, sorry. 
So this is the overall energy. You got the treasure reverse. So this is the outcome. I'm gonna show to you the cards later on as I will explain later. Now we will clarify the cards. Um, now that your person knows your words, they are obsessing about you and they see you as their future partner, future spouse to be. And they're still holding on towards you. That's what I also sense. And I feel like some of you felt drawn to this person because I feel like your intuition and your spirit guides are trying to tell you the truth that this person might reach out to you sooner or later. But we'll see. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know what's behind the cards presented here. Please help us clarify so we may be able to understand. Thank you. I just let the angels place the cards where they want to place it. So the heaven said that, you know, this person really likes you a lot. And some of you are meant to be with this person. And you try to hold on to them before, but you had enough with their attitude. I feel like, if not cheating, they could have hurt you. They didn't treat you the right way when you guys are still in a relationship or connected together. But we'll see. This is the overall energy. You got the treasure reverse. Now, as I told you, I feel like before, okay, they didn't realize that you are a treasure until, you know, you left. That's what I'm seeing here. Because when you guys are together, there's someone who just offer you a small cup offering. And there's someone who is attached to you, as you can see with the hangman here in reverse. So you got a two of ones. It means that they are not focused on you. They're so focused on other things. Could be, you know, they... What do you call this? They much more focus on work could be or their friends not basically to you and i feel like with this four of cups you're the one who offered them the cup of love before but they are focused on other things as i told you and then with the hierophant there's someone who's loyal to them somebody who has been there and you're the one who's the giver in this connection the giver of love they gave as well but it's only a few cup not really a big cup like what you offered to them now for the first card you got the commitment here and this is an easier way and i feel like you guys are in separation because of the heartache that this person has caused to you and i feel like you're the one who gave up because in your case scenario here guys you're the one who offered everything and you tried to reach out to them before tried to work things out but it didn't work there's a fallout and with the knight of cups i feel th they could be cheaters or they could be someone who is a player Okay, that's why you gave up. You, you can stand their attitude of, you know, having other people around or not paying attention to you or giving you only a little cup offer and you gave them your whole because you're upset about it and then you now let go of that stick. You're not holding on to them. So with this summer, I feel like this is more on them that they are having a hard time to, you know, push forward because within this week, okay, they are purging the pain of the loss of you. That's what I'm sensing. Though they try to manifest their life in general, but with the summer here, I see that they see you as their summer, as the one since you're gone. And they're very regretful. Um, I really sense a sad feeling with this five of forces. Because I think like you gave them the love, the abundance, the joy. And since you're gone, it's very hard for them to move on. Because their muse is gone. That's what I'm sensing. 
And look at that. <laughs> okay, this is them and this is you. You move on. Because you didn't see them as your empty cup or you didn't see them as the one that is missing in your life. All they did is make you cry. And with the muse in reverse, I feel like, you know, you could be their muse before, but they're focused on other things. And you went a walk, you went away, you went a walk, sorry. You went away, so what happened is they are sad about it. So, with the lightning bolt, I see here that because of their sadness within this week, it's gonna help them transform into somebody who is committed or somebody who learned from their past mistakes with regards to your connection, which is a good thing. Next card is the Oracle of Delphi. Now, with this one, the angels say it's really up to you. Okay, because this person now realizes your worth, looks at you, but then you're not looking at them because you see them as someone that is, you know, not really for you. Okay, you don't want them back. That is most of you because I feel like some of you are hurting from what happened with the Six of Cups. Like you give your all and this person doesn't and it hurt you drastically to the point that until now some of you host that grudge. And... I really feel the regret here when I hold this card. The regret of your person. So this is the outcome. Archangel Raphael. And then clarified by this. So I feel like, you know, within this week, this person will be forced on to, you know, I feel like marry someone else and not you anymore. Because I feel like you don't want them anymore. Because you move on, you're in this state of moving forward in life and you avoid holding on to them. And I feel like if that's a key scenario here, they might end up with someone else. That's what I'm sensing. But I really feel here that within this week also, the angels say they might release them, their bad self or their egotistical self or cheater self that's what i'm sensing there's gonna be a lot of heartache that's going on with your person if they have been a cheater and they are with someone um they are they are realizing now what they want in life they don't want the one that they they chose before um that's what i'm sensing like, I feel like they are being called on by the divine to change because of the transformation. So this is, you know, other energy. You got a retreat in both ways. So you retreated already and this person haven't moved on yet, okay? And they are aware that you deserve love and for them, they don't deserve you because all they did is made you cry. And you're somebody who's authentic and there's someone who's always gave you the red flag or show to them that they are cheaters and so forth. And I feel like, you know, um, they are aware that you move on and most of you, okay, you're not viewing them in social media anymore and their friends tell, tell them that you move on already. I feel like they have a spy around you. If you block this person, there is, okay, to know if ever you still feel the same or stay optimistic about them or not. They're, they are not really aware what you're up to. Okay, even though they have a spy, they don't know if you will accept them back or not. Because I feel like, you know, you move on, but they don't. They keep on crying about losing you. Because they want you back. They want to give a relationship a chance, but you're, you're not even looking at them. It seems like you're not interested. That's why this is an easier way. They don't know, okay? If they will choose you or someone else, they are in confusion mode. Whether or not, they will still you know want you or not because i really feel here guys that they really have feelings for you but um it really depends on you if you want them back 
If you want them, then give them a go signal. But if not, no, okay? Rather, you know, continue on focusing or manifesting your life. Now, to be fair, and the angels say, you just, you know to yourself what you deserve. Okay, the angels say, and this person is aware that they have been unfair to you, they have been cheaters, and you guys doesn't vibrate the same thing. Because you're someone who's so loyal, and you gave your heart to this person, you gave that cup of love to them, but all they did to you is to hurt you. To hurt your heart because you're someone who could be a happy-go-lucky, a cheater, or you know not focus too much on you that's what i'm sensing and within this week they gonna feel sad and lonely because i feel like they will come to realization that they really do love you love you because i feel like since you're gone they have been sad and lonely so you know to the to yourself that this person is you know smiling always always you know are cheerful but i feel within this week they're gonna be sad and lonely even though they have been posting that they're happy could be they are you know they're enjoying themselves with their friends so that they may ease their sadness and loneliness and with the higher power and the fates i feel like this person felt thrown to you Okay, because they realize your words since you're gone. Because before they're not listening, they're so egotistical, and that's why they didn't embrace this connection. First, they let it go, and they are highly egotistical before the angels say. But since they are very regretful of cheating and so forth, they change. So with the three of pentacles here, I feel like if ever they are players. Okay, cheaters, they are looking up at their mistakes in life. Okay, that's what I'm sensing. Even though they're focused on work, um, they are now realizing what they did before. And with this in, in both sides, I feel like, you know, this is about their spirit guides or angels, whomever they are around, the I feel that like this is good entities because the good entities making them look up on their mistakes on whatever they did in the past. That's what I'm sensing and it's helping them to change for the better, to work on with themselves is what I'm sensing because before they're not looking at it in the bigger picture. So here are the messages for you. I'm really having a hard time to talk with your pile, guys, okay? Because I feel like this person um, has still, you know, holding on um, to their ego, some of them. And it's not yet time for them to, you know, to talk to you. That's why their throat chakras are blocked. Some chakras are blocked because there's a reason behind it. It doesn't mean that you need to heal it okay just try to understand if you have that you know feeling that you can talk there's something wrong with your chakra analyze first before you judge that you need to heal it okay because in some cases it needed to be like that so i'll just place the cards based on what the angels ask me to do don't worry guys, I'll show you the cards again later on as we push things forward. And they ask me to clarify all of it. Because actually your reading is very confusing and really I don't know if they want to be with you or not. Because their energy is, you know, in decisive mode. That's why we have to clarify. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know what's behind the messages of the person of pile number one for them they are still indecisive due to the fact that most of you guys move on already from this person and some of you are in a relationship with someone else
and this person they really need you right now that's what i'm sensing some of them because they have been lonely since you're gone they miss your love they miss your support they miss everything about you so anyway this is your first card they want me to begin with this so you can't forget your sorrow because love gonna conquer it all so anyway they want to say to you how much they love you because i feel like this time around since you know remember buddha buddha takes time to meditate takes time to breathe and since they are capable of you know being in a hermit mode for this week um they say that is when they realize that they need you and they want to say to you how much they care that there's still hope in your connection so they say continue on trusting them because someday you know love gonna conquer it all so the next is our love will lead me to your arms so since they are not sure if you're still you know in love with them they want a signal from you if you are still interested because i feel like you know they are very regretful of cheating from you if they cheated on you the angels say and since they realize now your worth they want you to you know show them love again so that they can be able to come forward and choose you instead of someone i belong with you in both ways so some of you are very defensive that's why they're not sure if you know they can be with you again or not don't worry <laughs> i feel like you know they put up a mask that they're okay when all um when in reality they are crying about your connection you don't worry card you are the one so anyway i feel like they are very regretful because they know that you're the one who makes them happy they miss you a lot that's why they are spying on you or asking their friends family colleagues so ever about you next card is i've never seen such a lovely queen so if you you're a guy watching this they want to say that i've never seen such a handsome king <laughs> okay probably i feel like they fell for your beauty that's also what i'm getting here and they're still passionate about you and i feel that um that's another reason why they like you Mm -hmm. i can take it i don't understand in both ways so if you doubt your beauty guys okay i really feel that they are into you <laughs> so i can take it i don't understand it means that you know they admit to themselves that they have been foolish okay because this is the full card in this tarot deck and with this card i feel like you know their conscience are bugging them for being foolish okay from being foolish to being somebody who's not foolish anymore because there's transformation there in your reading i feel like they are starting to change because of this pain that they have because of their um guilt because of their conscience that's bugging them as you can see with this there was something missing so if they cheated on you they want to say to you that they hurt you because they thought there was something missing okay but now that you're gone they want to say i'm sorry because you know i thought there was something missing and now i'm so regretful of choosing someone against you and it's making me feel this way having this anxiety depression pain um because i cheated on you that's what they want to say next card is i can't live without you so it is in both ways so i feel like some of them okay since you move on already um they 
they wanna say this in reverse. Because I feel like in their part, they wanna move forward. So, though they have feelings for you, but they're very, you know, doubtful if you will accept them back. And if you're someone whom is showing them that you still love them, they wanna say to you that I can't live without you. That's why I also feel that energy we're in, they are very sad. And because they're so sad, I feel like they can't live without you. They realize that they can't live without you. I know this much is true in both ways. So I feel like before, they didn't tap into their emotions, okay? That's why this is an easier way. And now since you're gone, they realize that they really have feelings for you. And they really want to rebuild, okay, your connection. Next card is, I'll make you safe in both ways. So I feel like some of you, okay, don't want this person back. That's why this could be in reverse as well. So they want to say that since you're... You don't want me anymore since you see me as someone who's a liar, a cheater. Um, you know, I can't make you safe. That's also what they want to say. And if you gave them a chance, um, they will say to you, I'll make you safe. That's what I'm sensing. Though you don't trust me anymore, I just want you to know that now it's safe for you to love me because I'm turning into somebody that is authentic. I learned from my past hurts and mistakes. That's also what they want to add up. Next is I'm hoping you feel the same way too. They have feelings for you, okay? With the waters here and they're hoping you feel the same way too so that they can be able to reach out to you and reconcile with you next card is there's so easy way out so if they they are being stubborn or egotistical cheater i feel like they want to say to you that it's very hard for them to let go of their codependency issues if they have addictions it's a very hard they want to say it's not easy for them to change next is my love is just for you in both ways so you can only have this in a pride if ever they have someone else okay um they want to say if ever they have, um, I feel like, I'm sorry, <laughs> you will have this in reverse if they have someone else. But if ever they have, they are sad wherever they are. Okay, but if they are single, they want to say that their love is just for you. And they are changing. Some of them are single because you know they realize that they have been cheaters okay they realize their mistakes i miss you body and soul so i feel like this person loves you a lot or still missing you because they really have feelings as you can see and they think that you are the one for them and you complete them that's what they think so there in your eyes, I saw something true. That's why they feel regretful. Because you're authentic. And you don't deserve this, the heartache that they gave you. Because I feel like you're someone who's loyal and they are cheaters. That's why some of them really don't want to go back. Since they want to say to you that, you know, you're a good person to have. But since I'm a cheater, I'm not good enough for you. And another thing why they are changing, especially if they really like you because you're authentic, you're loyal. I feel like they're trying to change because they want to go back to you. They want to marry you someday. They see you as their wife or husband material since you show them the love that, you know, they failed to give you. So anyway, here are your advice. You got this situation will improve and then a no as an answer. So the angels say, 
that you know right now you need to make a decision whether or not you still want this person or not because i feel like you're doing well on your own and it's safe for you to say no because i feel like you know you have been through a lot with this person and with this situation will improve if ever you want this person you can have them but we don't know here i feel like they haven't don't want you to be with them that's also what i get not the right time for you guys to reconcile because this person's still changing that's also what i get right now if you ask if it's time for you guys for reconciliation or it's time for reconciliation i can hardly speak sorry um it's a no because it's still in a healing process or your person still in transformation mode so here are the other cards you got queen of gabriel passionate charming brilliant independent you can do anything right now go after what you want the ability to attract helpful people so i feel like you deserve someone better somebody who's not a cheater or a liar and i feel like you're in that throne wherein you know you're passionate about life you're doing well even though you're independent or single and continue on doing that the angels say because by doing this you're attracting the right lover for you that's why you got no as an answer you got ten of raphael love and blessings fill your life harmonious relationships with family members happily ever after so the angels say if you want this person and someday they will reconcile to you that moment is you know when they change already because with the green green is also about healing okay and the rainbow is about the salvation of the divine here if you really like this person and you feel that deep connection you still care for them despite of everything um i feel like you know you will end up being together and have kids but it might take a very long time since this person really needs to change really needs to heal as well the angels say and they see you as a wife or husband material that's also what i get for of raphael seek out other possibilities look for the magic in life be aware of your own emotions so within this week you are asked to you know meditate and contemplate of what it is that you want do you want this person or not why do you like them etc because i feel like you're being called on by the divine what it is you want because if you know what you want we, we can give it to you that's what they want to say but if this person really is not someone who's meant for you you're meant for someone else you're being called on by the divine to focus on you know this journey okay about this person what it is you like from them and it's not enough that you want them because you felt drawn to them you must have a deeper you know reasoning why you want this person okay especially if they're toxic to you they haven't don't want you to suffer they haven't wants you to be happy to be with the one that cares for you and loves you nurture you because i feel with your reading you deserve someone better you don't deserve a cheater next is ace of raphael a positive new emotional experience fulfilling romantic relationships deep and lasting spiritual insights so what i want to say to you is that you know with the ace of raphael some of you will have a new lover in the future and they want you to know that you know even though you might not end up with this person they will promise you that they can give you what you desire what you want in your love life connection and so far just remember don't know what you really want and to heal from this past person whoever this is okay because i feel like there's a strong magnetic attraction here because some of you still cares even though they are not healthy for you the angels say 
you must release, learn to let go of something that doesn't serve you, the angels say. But if you really love this person, they can't stop you. But all they can say is that stop hurting yourself and focus on your healing of your heart. Focus on what it is that you want, what it is that you deserve. You deserve joy and happiness, then be it, okay? Go after it. Chase the rainbows rather than the dark clouds that is making you cry or creating those rain clouds in your life. So here are the other cards. You got, there is a stream of love supporting my dreams. So you're someone who's lovable and you're being chased by someone whom is not like you are. They say they will just make you cry. The angels say, so release your ego. Try to look within what it is you want. Do you want to cry forever? <laughs> of course not, especially if you're someone who's the giver here. You deserve someone who gives or provides for you the same thing. Okay, that's what you need to keep in mind, that you deserve someone who is willing to be loyal, who's not breaking your heart. Who's making you feel important, the angels say. Next is, when I'm in alignment with the love of the universe, peace cannot be disrupted. So, I will just focus on the image here. Okay, you could be someone who's holding on to this person so tightly. The angels say, release. Okay, be in alignment with the love of God. You know, the divine doesn't want us to be happy um sad okay they want us to be happy and sometimes what we're holding on is something that makes us cry because you know i shared to you my story okay back then around i think it's around may when god come towards me and say that he will take my life and then I'm being egotistical back then. I thought that, you know, my divine purpose on earth was to be with my twin and we should start a family and so forth. And then mission is finished. So since that is my mindset, I tell it's not, um, I don't want because I want to push forward with my life, fulfilling that mission. That's what I want to, I say. So since it happened that, you know, I, what they call this, I rejected the offer and they come forward around um, afternoon that time and then they say there was a different plan for me. They told me that I will be with someone else and not with the one that I have in mind which is my twin. Okay, I call him still my twin because he looks like me. <laughs> okay, anyway um what happened is that they say that i will end up with someone else and if i chose my twin to marry he will just end up breaking my heart again so i feel very sad about it about what they say and that i really need to move on and you know at first i say that i don't care okay I really want to be with this person and then suddenly you know when we are dating um, he broke my heart <laughs> okay to someone else he cheated and then since he broke my heart drastically that is when I realized that God is right he knows what is best for me and we must respect it though we are attached to the one that we are drawn to it doesn't mean that they are with you forever. Could be they come to your life for a reason because in Twin Flame journey, they are meant to direct us in spiritual journey because that is what my twin, you know, gave to me. And I acknowledge that, okay? Because without my twin, I won't be here in this channel. And that is what Twin Flame Journey is for, the angels say. It is to push you forward in your spiritual experience for you to be closer to God, they say. 
and you deserve someone better, especially if you on your part, you did all you can or all the best you can to love this person, but they can't love you back. Okay, learn to love yourself, learn to from your past hurts and mistakes, but don't be regretful because the angels say, because of your love, you're teaching this person how to love. Because most of them doesn't. They cheat, okay? Next is, Thank you, universe, for helping me see beyond the limits of fear. Thank you for expanding my perception so that I can see what is of the highest good of all. Highest good. <laughs> okay, so anyway, the angels say, it's time to let go, avoid attachments to, you know, possibilities, to outcomes. Just let it be, go with the flow. And remember, we must respect. If somebody is not meant for us, we must respect it. The angels say, and be open to other possibilities. Because if we expect a lot, and we didn't got it, what will happen to us? We will have that, you know, um, our heart will end up broken. And it's very hard to heal, especially if you have expectations. The more that you expect, the more that, you know, it will hurt you if the outcome is different. Next is there is nothing sexier than my authentic truth. So be true to yourself. Okay, be true on what you want. They say and remember because I feel like some of you you just felt drawn to this person because of the soul bond. And be honest to yourself, is this person really healthy for you? That is what you need to contemplate. So that you will be able to release them, their energy towards you. So you may move on. Because I feel like you need to move on from them. When I'm connected to my joyful presence, I attract support from the universe. So within this week, you're being asked on to heal yourself from this person. And also, if... The emotions are overwhelming for you. Try to shift your focus by doing what makes you happy. Like playing online games, the angels say. I know that some people will say it's a bad thing. But you know guys, we need to learn how to make ourselves happy. But in a good way, okay? Um, playing online games is bad if it's... If you're addicted to it, okay? But if you just use it as a medium to make you happy, it's alright. It's understood, the angels say. Because the reasoning is, you know, is good. Next card is, the more energy and intention I bring to my faith, the more fearless and free I am. So, the angels say, um, try to break free, okay? Let it be like a free bird. Like everyone has a free will. And if this person didn't choose you, ch they chose someone else, let it be, the angels say. And I also sense here that you need to be faithful that someday your person may change. Continue on praying to them because if you pray, the angels say, it will help, okay? It will help your person. To change especially if they are cheaters they told me because they will continue on to be pushed to contemplate about what they need to change and that's happening to your person within this week and pray also for their strength and energy because the emotions of them is very overwhelming for this week, according to the angels. Next is, I do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness. So it's now time to put to rest this situation and try to be wise, okay? The angels say of what it is you want. They keep on repeating that message for you. My capacity to tune in to the energy of love gives me the words I need when I'm ready to speak up, the compassion I need when it's time to forgive, and the power I need when I am lost. 
So the angels say, if you're gonna purge within this week about this situation, it's because you need to heal your heart from this person. You need to forgive them if you haven't. That is why you're being pushed forward to remember so you may be able to heal and let go of this situation because I feel like some of you are holding the grudge. And the angels say, it's not healthy to hold on the grudge. Because if you want a new lover, your heart must be open for it. You must not carry any luggage or any baggage from the past. Next card is, in every moment the universe is conspiring to bring me toward right-minded thinking and the energy of love. So what I want to say to you is that, you know, um... You need to be in that energy of healing, the energy of love, and let, letting go of the situation rather than controlling it. Because you're being called on by the divine to let go of your ego because your ego is, you know, holding on to them so tightly, holding on to your own perspective, um, outcome. Let that be, okay? Because some people are taught that, you know, in order to manifest, you must you must be like this to the outcome that you want. You must hold on to it, which is not really good. What if the plans of God are different from our plans? Of course, we will experience that downfall so that we may come to realization. Don't wait that to happen because I feel like you already seen the... Um, outcome here that there's a downfall there's something wrong your energy is very different so do you think you deserve someone whom is not loyal like you are and i think it happened because you know your experience is teaching this person to be loyal like you it's teaching them not to let go of someone that is in that loving energy or in a high vibration so even if you guys won't end it up together, you tattooed their heart and mind, body and soul because you're the one who changed them. And you know, you must remember as always the contribution of others for you, for your internal growth. Even if you guys won't be together, it doesn't mean that you will not have someone else because they will only show to you the one if you are ready, if you are seeing the abundance rather than only the tears, okay? Rather than holding on to something that is not healthy. So here is your last card. The moment I embrace my peace within and surrender the outcome is a moment that the universe can truly get to work. So surrender the outcome. Whatever it is, surrender. Just go with the flow, the angels say. And if you're not yet at peace with this connection, try to purge the pain and be more authentic about the truth of the matter here. Um, if this is really what you want, ask yourself, why do you like this person? Is it practical? And so forth. Why did I learn from the situation as well? What is the contribution of this person? Because if you're open to that, if you realize your contribution, especially if they led you on to the divine path, you will be very thankful and be very happy that despite of them hurting you, you will be regretful that they came to your life because... Um, you know, because of them, you got closer to God and you know how to love yourself even more. Because to be honest, you know, my person cheated on me. But despite it, I messaged him, you know, that I am happy that he came to my life. Because, you know, though he used me for money purpose, I say to him that despite of you know the debt that you have to pay me i tell him that you already paid it more than the one that you owe me because you're the one who direct me to this journey you're the one um who opened up my heart towards the spiritual path 
and you're the one who opened the doors to new possibilities out there. And that helped me heal my anger to him by looking at you know what I experienced and realized that he contributed a lot of things in my life. Though he hurt me, well, it's time to move on. People uh, make mistakes and we must forgive, alright? If you want to be forgiven by the divine, we must learn how to forgive and let go and follow what we make, makes us happy this time. Is there anything else? Lisa, that's it. So thank you for watching those who chose pile number one and sending you all peace, love, and light. Bye. Hi guys, for those who chose pile number two, which is the strength card, here is your reading. Alright, so let's see what's going on with your person, pile number two. So here is the overall theme you got. Chapwood, reverse, they tell. A change in the wind, building blocks, and also treasure island. So I place it based on what the angels ask me to do. Anyway, let's tackle on about the energy of your person, pile number two. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know how does the person of pile number two feel about them and how do they see about their situation and connection together one more shuffle they say I feel like they reject your offer because I feel like you know you need to be honest with yourself if they what do you call this? If it is them that you really like. Because I feel like they are very doubtful about where you come. Where you come from, they say. I feel like some of you could have admit or show you have feelings for this person. But this person doesn't want it. That's also what I sense. Because I feel like they reject you most of the time. Some of them, they like someone else. That's also what I get. Anyway, let's see what's going on. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know what's going on with the person of pile number 2 commencing November 18 up to November 24, 2019. what's going on with you <laughs> with your person their energy feels like they're upset so this is the overall energy loving elementals it is upright they tell what is the outcome and this is upright as well they tell and they ask me to pull more for your romance angels Don't worry, I'll show to you the cards later on. You will clarify the cards. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know what's behind the cards presented here. Please help us clarify so we may be able to understand. Thank you. I feel like your person likes you too, but they are dealing with someone else. Some of them are. That's why they reject you because they are in a relationship or they like someone else. 
They like you but they also like someone else that could be the case scenario here. Or there's someone who is not interested with love life yet. That's why they will check you. Anyway, this is your overall energy. So you got loving elementals. What I get here is that this person knows that you like them, okay? And I feel like you're attracted to them could be because they're loving, okay, and caring as a friend or as a lover. But with this Six of Wands and King of Pentacles, I feel like they didn't see you as the one for them. They feel like, you know, you're somebody that some of them, okay, has a feeling that they can trust you. Some of you guys, um, they see you as like that. Just take what resonates. And they think that they won't be happy with you. That's why they rejected your offer of love. So with a full card and then with the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like this is you coming towards the Emperor. Okay, and they think highly of themselves and not to you. And I feel with this Ace of Cups, this is what you want, okay? You want a fresh new start with them. You want them as your lover, but it didn't happen. It's also what I get. But with the Wheel of Fortune, I think that someday the Wheel will be with you, the angels say. But this time around, this person um, really needs to contemplate on what it is that he or she wants because i feel like whomever is hurt here it's you because they reject you so we'll see that is the energy first energy is that and then the next is clearing the way and um, what i see here is that the angels say that you let go of this person because i feel like you're in love with them okay you feel vulnerable with the king of swords reverse like you're not thinking it first if it's practical um to you know to want them and that is why this is an easier way it means that you're moving away from them or you're chasing someone else is what i'm sensing and which is in reverse i feel like your person still longs for you even though you try to move on from them they still want you to want them because some people are like that okay even if they know to themselves that they like someone else of course it's you know you're feeding their ego that you want them to despite of them having someone else that feeling you're feeding their pride with this king of keys i feel here that the one that you're dealing is look highly on themselves very egotistical feels somebody <laughs> who is you know combination of a lot of knights Mm -hmm. and they made up their mind because i feel like this person is attracted to someone else not only to you but to someone else they only like you but it doesn't mean that they have feelings because i see here that they know what they want and they're focused on that kingdom that princess over there that's why they rejected you they rejected your offer so with this in crescent moon i feel like this person though they let you go i feel like they are thinking about you and they try not to because with this hangman i feel like they are tied down to the one that they chose but when they chose that person i feel like with this ace of wands if it didn't happen within this week could be in the near future they will realize that whomever they chose okay whomever this is that they are obsessive with they have feelings with will be you know will not be their type they will realize it someday okay that's why the passion is in reverse 
they're not passionate about it anymore because I feel here with the Queen of Pentacles, I think that time wherein they will come to realization is when you're already move on. You're already like the Queen of Pentacles, so stable, happy with your life, abundant. And also you're someone who's standing in your power as the Queen of Swords. And I feel like you now know what you want that time. Wherein they judge you for something you're not. I feel like they think before that, you know, that this other party is better than you are. But their judgment is wrong. And that's why they're not chasing after this other person, they're focused on you. And this will happen in your future or within this week, that they will realize that whomever they dated or choose, um, they chose is the one that they don't want. Okay, before they are attracted, now they don't. Before they don't like you and then now they realize your worth, now they like you. Okay, the tables have turned. So with the waterfall in reverse, so I feel like, you know, they will encounter such pain. Remember that you, they hurt you, right? And whatever you feel when they hurt you is the same feeling that they will feel within the downfall that they chose someone that you know, they thought was better for them. And since they know your worth, they want a new beginning with you or fresh new start. Next is balance in reverse. And as I told you, whomever they chose is someone that doesn't resonate with your energy. There's always argument involved since they are always, you know, not on the same page as what I'm sensing. And this person is very regretful of giving his or her whole cup to that person that they thought that they they want that's what i'm sensing and since they gonna purge it i feel like that is what will happen within this week so that they may be able to open up their heart towards you and accept your love finally because I feel like they will cut out on being arrogant person or somebody who's too proud that a lot of girls or men are in love with. That's what I'm sensing. Because I feel like because of this downfall, their ego was hurt. That's what I'm sensing. So this is the outcome. You got the three of scrolls here. And I'm sensing with this one setting your course. Your person realize you when you're already moving on with your life and you're someone who's happy and successful in those moments that they want to come back to you. And this is their feelings, it's the three of swords, is that they are hurt for choosing someone that they, they thought they want. And since this happened, that is when they see you as somebody who is loving, caring, charismatic, even for some successful in business career. And though you're single, I feel like you're straightforward. You're too focused on what you do and you're satisfied and happy of where you are. So anyway, so the outcome is that they're going to be obsessive over you. <laughs> Alright, so let's see about your energy. Separation. So, I feel like this is in reverse because I feel like, you know, since they reject you and they know your words, they want to come forward. But with the codependency, I feel like, you know, this is you. They think that some of you are still angry at them because they... They reject you for this, okay, for this love because before you have feelings for them and now they don't know if you feel the same way too. They're not aware, especially if you block this person, calling in your soulmate and release your ex. So if ever they have someone else, okay, I feel like they gonna reject it. They will let go of it before they will call into another lover. That's what I'm sensing. Forgiving and learning. 
So some of them are aware that you haven't forgiven them. That's why you're not interested anymore. They are aware, okay? They have feelings, but this time around, you're not having that same feelings for them. And I feel like this is their perspective. If they will come forward to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, you're just gonna ignore them like the man here. Religious factors could be they did they reject you because of the religious factors that could be or someone else in your connection is married just take what resonates there's a lot of factors that as that is affecting your connection that is why they didn't choose you at first that could be and with the free yourself reverse i feel like you know some of them okay are cheaters could be or they are player types that's what I'm sensing. And with your release yourself or free yourself, I feel like this is them. They have some codependency issues wherein they tend to flirt to others. They tend to admire beauty. That's also what I get or handsome guys or girls and they love to flirt. And I feel like this is the codependency for some that they need to release because they know that you don't want somebody who's like this. So with the honeymoon, express your love. So they want to come forward to you and express their feelings because they feel passionate about you. There's chemistry between you guys, but some of you block this person so what they did to know what's going on with you is that they ask people about it okay about you where's waiting for i think that they're waiting for you finances and career so i think because some of you okay could be on the time that you admit your feelings or they see that you're in love with them it's a time wherein you know you're not that successful yet in your life but now i feel like you're someone that is successful and career is not a hindrance anymore let your friends help you in wedding Mm -hmm. If you're someone who's dealing with a proud person who's like a cheater or who can, you know, attract the girls or men that they like, I feel like they didn't tell their friends about you or family even because they are, you know, not that committed yet to anyone since they are playerful or playerful. They are playful or they are players that could be. Um, we just stay optimistic and love yourself first and i'm seeing here that they this is how they see you okay that's why they felt drawn to you they they what do you call this they like you because of this because despite of them rejecting you you're standing in your power you finally move on from them and since you move on they realize your worth when you're gone that's also what i get here anyway kind of confusing energy guys <laughs> about your person but we'll see you know this okay the overall theme you got treasure island so what i see here is that i feel like they make you cry because they reject your offer of love right with the building blocks after that that happened you managed to stand up for yourself you managed to heal while this person Okay, dealing with someone else, everything falls apart because of their ego, because they're so proud person. And you know what will happen if somebody is being too proud? The moment will happen so that it will, you know, humble them. So that's what happened, a change in the wind. <laughs> okay, if before you're in love with them and now you're not. Okay, if before they, they are not into you, now they are okay because i feel like you know for some way this is an easier way could be you still have feelings for them just take what resonates chop wood and i feel like you know you're not um what you call this putting an effort anymore in this connection this is your energy because i feel with this strength card here okay 
I feel like before, um, you stroked your ego. <laughs> That's what I'm sensing. And I'm seeing here that <laughs> the angels say it's because of this person, okay? I will tell you a story about the lion and this girl, the angels say. The lion thought that this girl was for him, okay? Um, this lion thought that was um, another lion, that's a girl. But then suddenly, he realized that it's not a lion. <laughs> okay. That's what I'm sensing. And I feel like whomever they're dating me, they, do they don't match. So, so what I get with that card. Anyway, here are their messages for you. I'll just place it based on what the angels ask me to do. So, we will clarify everything. Okay? Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know what's behind the cards presented here. Please help us clarify so we may be able to understand. I feel that they are very regretful of choosing this other person. Because most of them are angry with that person. I feel like they are in a partnership with someone who's very demanding of their energy. Somebody who don't understand to give them space. That's what I'm sensing as well. And they are stuck to that person because I feel like people will... Think negatively if they will leave right away in the connection because they love to post in social media that they are with someone who's beautiful or handsome but to be honest they're not happy with the connection so you got it hurts so bad sometimes not having you here anyway since they are in a relationship for some okay i feel like Every time that the other person makes them cry, this is what they want to say. They miss your love. They miss the chemistry that you guys had because they didn't see that to the person that they chose. You hear what's deep inside. So I feel like, you know, some of you admit your feelings to this person. Okay, because you have deep emotions and I think that they just realize that they have feelings for you when you're gone. Okay, because I feel now, because before it's like this, okay, they didn't see what's deep inside. And then now they know that they have feelings for you and they want to commit themselves towards you. And then you got, I can't spell it out for you. It's not that simple. So anyway, they want to explain themselves why right now that you don't feel the same way, they're reaching out to you. They want to explain, but then I feel like you will reject this person. And they think that they will just receive a negative feedback from you. And it is if ever they will reach out and open up their feelings and thoughts towards you. All they wanted is for you to understand them. They will only explain everything if only you're open for that. Okay. Next card is I'll keep on searching. So if you're dealing with somebody who is an indecisive energy, because I tap into some of the energy here, it's... A player type vibe for some. If you're dealing with a player type, they will keep on searching for more or for someone else. If already you move on and you don't want them back. Next card is I need to breathe. So anyway, I feel like they're very sad, okay? Even though they are in a relationship with, they need some alone space 
time and space will be the other party that they currently dealing with is someone very demanding and wants them to uh, you know to give and give provide for this person and also this person wants the other one to always be there for her or him even though you know they're busy i feel like they're tired because of their is demanding other person next is you're not for me so what i feel here is that they want to say that you know they broke your heart because they thought that you're not for me that's what they want to say they thought that they are for someone else but then you know they also want to say to you how much they realize they're wrong their perspective is wrong when you know they are not happy of where they are because with you there's chemistry but with this other person there's always fighting involved and the one that they're dealing with is always breaking their heart next card is push aside what used to be so what i want to say is that if before i reject you now i will accept your love offer i'm i'm what do you call this i'm not just sure if you will still like me because of this third party situation because i chose someone else and i want you to know that the person that i chose is not good for me it's somebody who's karmic or who's evil and so forth is what i'm sensing next card is all of my hopes fading away so if ever you show this person that you're not interested they want to say this to you in a pride because i feel like you know you're just gonna fight them if ever they will come back and if ever they will say i'm sorry if they will say um to you what happened i feel they will reject them okay but you will have this in reverse if only you're accepting them back or you will forgive them for what they did that's what i'm sensing or if you give them a go signal that you know they can approach you i know your plans don't include me so as i told you some of them are egotistical and i feel like this is what they said to you in the past and you know if they may um they say something mean to you before um it keeps on running and chasing after their mind <laughs> okay because i feel whatever they say to you is not true okay because deep inside what they want to say is that include me in your plans <laughs> okay because um they have feelings for you that's what i'm sensing since you're gone set me free yeah whatever mean things really that they say to you really drives them crazy because they feel guilty regretful of saying mean things to you because they don't want you to be away from them because they have feelings and you guys had that chemistry and with the star card and the moon i feel like morals of heavenly bodies <laughs> like you guys are on the same page there's chemistry and i think that you're shining like a star like you're doing great with your work and they're amazed about it but they're sad and lonely that they set you free next card is tell me you'll wait so i feel like you know they want to say this to you if only they're connected with someone else okay but this will be in reverse if they are aware that you know you move on already and you don't want them back because they know that you will not wait no matter how many times that they try to tell you to wait you will not because i really feel here that they hurt you so badly they hurt you with their words and they cut you off 
So here are the advice for you. You got opportunity. So the angels say, continue on manifesting your abundance because right now that is what you need to focus on with your money, with your finances, since this is the bloom time for you. And career is what you need to focus on. So here are some other advice. Page of Ariel. Reliable, clever, educated, balance. An excellent opportunity will be offered to you. Scholarships or the pursuit of education, time to get to work. So, as I told you, you're being called on to focus or manifest abundance right now. And continue on being that balanced person or grounded and clever. Be who you are. Be whom you are want to be. So you got the nine, sorry, the king of Michael, principle, rational, ambitious, respected. Wisdom and objectivity are important now. Stay in your integrity, a situation that calls for honest and an open communication. So they want you, you know, to be open if ever this person will come back. Open communication is what they say. If ever you're still angry with your person, they want you to be open. They want you to accept. They want you to forgive. And if within this week you're being called on to purge the pain of the past, it's because you still feel that hurt. You still feel that you have been cheated on um you still have crush in your heart so release it because anytime soon this person might reach out to you and ask you for forgiveness so high priestess archangel haniel powerful psychic insights reflection and meditation that provides valuable information be at peace so if ever you're angry, be at peace as of this time and continue on standing in your power like the high priestess here. But at the same time, take time also to cry all the tears. And if you're still having that anger within you, you have to release it, guys, okay? It's not good to hold on to anger, to hold on to grudges, alright? Re release it. Next is Knight of Raphael, romantic, dramatic, poetic, introspective. Committed com romantic relationships, being swept off your feet, situations or topics that make your heart flutter. So anyway, some of you avoid being dramatic, the angels say. Um, it's now time to move on and chase what you really desired in life. And I feel like a Prince Charming or a girl may come to your life. If only you continue on to stand in your power. Just continue on doing it because, you know, you can attract the love of your life if you are in this state rather than the one who's always chasing the person. Because that is what you're being called on to you. The more that you chase after your dreams, the more that you will attract people that are on the same level as you are, whom is reliable, clever, educated, and balanced. Okay. Next card is the universe works fast when I'm having fun. So, what I want to say to you is that try to shift your focus if ever the emotions are overwhelming you, especially those who was hurt still by this person. So, if it's overwhelming for you, try to make yourself happy by doing what makes you happy, by doing your hobbies, the angels say. Next is my faith has the power to turn trauma into healing, conflict into growth, and fear into love. So within this week, you're being called on to release that um, trauma when it comes to lovers or when it comes to admitting your feelings to other people because I feel like most of you admit your feelings or you open up or you show your love to this person and then you got rejected of course it's traumatic experience right so you're being called on to release that feelings okay within this week so that you may be open for new lovers that 
keeps coming your way and you cannot express yourself if you still hold on to that trauma you will have a hard time to you know express how you feel and remember that whomever comes to your life the new lover they don't deserve the baggage of the person that you dealt with in the past. My energy creates my reality. What I focus on is what I will manifest. That is why they ask you to focus on work. And it will manifest, okay? It will grow into abundance and joy and happiness in your life. Next, hope is a conduit for miracles. So even though you have this traumatic past, still be hopeful that someday you will find the one that you want to marry or you may find someone new if you're not interested with this person anymore. Next, I witness the darkness and call on the light with my prayer. Thank you universe for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love. So they they are asking you to be continue on um to be that loving energy okay to express how you feel to continue on expressing that uh, loving vibration that you have and the angels say avoid your trauma by loving people next card when i think i've surrendered i surrender more so continue on letting go of the outcome let the outcome be the angels say and relax focus on your work focus on what you need to focus on right now and the angels say it will come out naturally or unfold if you're ready especially for those who's looking for a new lover here Next, I always trust the direction of the universe and know I'm being guided. So, most of you, I feel that this is you. You're, you know to yourself that you don't deserve this person and you're moving on. And the angels say continue on trusting and have faith that, you know, you will be able to find the one that is for you. Next is, I choose love no matter what um love comes strongly guys so if you feel um that trauma that you don't want to love anymore um they say you know remember what you are in the past you know you know when i got angry with my person i miss being that loving vibration for others because if you have grudge in your heart i tell you it's very hard to be that a loving vibration because, you know, our heart is doorway from heaven. And how can we express the love of heaven if it's locked, okay, in our hearts? And remember yourself and when you're still loving, the angels say. Remember yourself when you don't have this trauma yet. You're happy with life. You were someone who's loved by others because of your loving energy. And they say, you're growing like a tree. You're growing like the things that are beautiful now. Because the angels say, you encounter a lot of things in your life. And those things made you somebody that should be beautiful. And remember, those heartaches are like sandpapers. They are forming you into something that is pure, that is wise. And do you think your hatred okay, did something good to you? What happened? The angels say some of you became bad person because this person hurt you. Some people, you know are upset because you're not that loving energy so you must learn how to love despite of all those things don't give up your love don't give up your love for humanity don't give up your love for people especially if you're a light worker you're meant to love people you're meant not to please but to be that loving light and energy for others, be a good example for people. That is what light workers should be. 
Somebody is forgiving, nurturing, understanding, knowing that everything happens for a reason, and you're being called on to do that, especially if you're angry with your person. Okay. And remember to have faith in God, especially if you want um somebody new. That someone will come to your way, that is loving like you are. If you want to attract a lover, that is loving, be in that vibration, and you will attract that person. So, is there anything else? They said that's it. So, thank you for watching. Those who chose file number two, and sending you all peace, love, and light. Bye.